Welcome, multi squad. This is the Velvet Locks back in the bathroom with another awesome facial video. Now, as you can see, I have a clay mask on my face, and this is not just any type of clay mask. This is a skin tightening clay mask that's going to help to lift your skin. It's going to help shrink your pores, get rid of wrinkles, fade dark pigmentations. It's going to detoxify your skin and it's going to make your skin look and feel younger. Now, this is not just any type of clay mask. This is a bentonite clay mask and it's more of an earthly-ish clay mask. But how I mix mine is even more effective because I have a lot of skin fighting agents that's going to help to shrink your pimples, get rid of acne, and yeah. So as it's tightening, it's going to dry out the oils in your skin. It's going to get rid of and reduce the appearances of acne. And let me show you what I have inside my wonderful face mask. This is also going to fade your dark pigmentation. So it's going to do it all in one shot. All right. Let me show you how to make this. First ingredient is our lime. Now the lime is used to help rejuvenate our skin to give it that more youthful looking appearance. This is also going to help to reduce inflammation in our skin. The second ingredient I'm going to be using is my aloe vera leaf. Now this is going to help to treat my acne, dry skin and also burns. This is also going to help to moisturize the skin. And last is this powerful 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. This is what's going to draw out the dirt and impurities deep within our pores. And this is also beneficial for deep pore cleaning. It's also going to help to remove dark pigmentations and spots, as well as shrink your large pores and wrinkles. To make this wonderful mask, we're going to be using one teaspoon of the bentonite clay mask. Now I'm going to use the juice of my aloe vera gel that I already scraped on the side. And I'm going to also use one to two teaspoons of my aloe vera gel. And I forgot a very important ingredient. The apple cider vinegar can be used as a toner, as a face wash, and even as a spot treatment. This is what's going to help to shrink those acne pimples and also your large pore cells. The secret ingredient on this mixture. So what I'm going to do is take one teaspoon of my apple cider vinegar and put the loveliness inside of it. So if your mixture is not quite the consistency that you're looking for, you can add in a little extra of your apple cider vinegar just to loosen it up. Now we're ready to add in a few drops or at least a half a teaspoon of our lime juice. Now once your face mask is the correct consistency like this, now it's time for us to go to the bathroom and apply it to our skin. Alright you guys, so what you would do is you would use a brush, but you can also use your fingers if you don't like the mess, and you just apply this all over your face. And once you finish, you just allow it to dry. Thirty minutes later, time to rinse it off. All right, y'all. So I am finished with uh, washing my skin off, and I really like this stuff. It really gives your skin that snatched feeling and then what I do if I really see like any type of small bumps popping out here and there 
I just tap it with my tea tree. So being that one broke out here the other day, I'm just gonna put a little tea tree oil on that, which helps it to shrink, as well as this one too. They just popped out of nowhere. But if you have any appearances of any type of small fine pimples or you know bumps trying to come out because this is a detox so it is going to bring out stuff out of your skin you may look as though you're breaking out but you're not okay and i just put some tea tree on that and that takes care of that all right all right y'all so that's it um like i said whenever you feel as though or see any type of small fine bumps coming up just dap it with some tea tree oil, which is an antiseptic. Um, it has antibacterial um, properties, so it's going to help to, you know, get rid of that right away. But other than that, I just go in with my normal um, routine. What I've been doing lately is I've been applying this fading lightener on my skin as well. So it can help to fade these spots even faster. So not only do I put uh, my aloe vera juice in my face mask to help with the fading of the blemishes but I also put a topical on there as well at night I just leave it like this and just go to sleep and it absorbs into my skin but that's it you guys that's my morning routine this is my nighttime skincare routine yeah at night I don't use the mask I just wash my face with my African black soap and then do everything else but the mask but i usually put the mask on in the morning once a day to help dry out my pores because i'm an oily girl so the aloe vera is going to help to give me hydration but that bentonite clay is going to help to suck out the oils and all the toxins that might be in my skin all right so i hope this video was helpful for some of you who are also battling skin problems want to get that nice tight snatch youthful looking skin especially now that the summer's coming we're trying to get flawless skin okay and this is going to help with any type of abrasions any type of acne breakouts any type of wrinkling and it's going to help to remove that dead skin cells that might be laying on the top of your skin all right so thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful video don't forget to like comment subscribe down below share these videos with your friends and family who want to get their skin snatched before the summer okay and also check down below for any links all right so until the next video you guys i will see you then Bye. hey fam where you going you didn't subscribe yet well listen first of all before you go don't forget hit that subscribe button and don't forget also to turn on that notification bell so this way you will not miss another one of my videos okay make sure that you hit that subscribe button click it and then hit that little bell and make sure that it's lit you will miss out on so much if you don't hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell next to it make sure that it's turned on so this way when I upload another video you will not miss it at all okay you will be the first to know so don't forget give me those likes thumbs up and hit that subscribe button along with the bell at the bottom and you will always know when I upload another one of these videos okay so I'll see you in the next video